Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to fetch the categories and display it in our user site in our PHP project. So let's get started with it. So we will be adding a nav item over here and we will call it as collections. So once you click on that, we are going to the category.php and we will display all the available categories. So we'll start with the code. So in my code, I'm going to create a new file over here called categories.php and then you have to go to your includes navbar.php and over here you have features right we'll just change this to collections and call the file categories.php okay so you can also call it as categories or collections uh, anyhow it's up to you so let me just go and refresh so when you click on collections, you are coming to categories.php. Okay, so in your index.php, you have included the header and footer, right? So I'll just copy that same thing and paste it over here. So this message, we are not going to keep it in this page. I'll just remove it. So this will be our container. And you see the session start over here, right? I'll just remove it from here. And it's also over here, so just remove and include it in the header.php. So in your header.php, just on top of the page, put this inside a open PHP and close the PHP or here. Okay. So I'll just change this to our categories, or you can say our collections. Go and refresh collections. We have our collections. Remove this button from here. So here we are going to display our products. So I'll just open PHP, close PHP. And instead of writing the query over here, we will write it in our myfunctions.php and call it over there. So here we have the get all function and get by ID. So this was for the admin side because we are not checking any status in this. For the user side, we will be writing the query along with the status that has to be active okay so i will just create another function over here I'll just copy this and paste so instead of get all we are going to say get all active okay so all the records which are active in this table so we'll write the query where status is equal to zero put that in single quotes okay so we have built our database in such a way that when status is equal to zero, it will show as active. And when we have set it to one, it will not be visible to the user. Okay. So now this function we are going to use and fetch our categories. So just say dollar categories is equal to get all active and pass your table name. Say categories. And now we are going to check if my sqli num rows of dollar category is greater than zero and in the else part we are just going to say echo no data available or you can say no category available and in the if part so if there is categories available then we are just going to loop through it say for each dollar categories as dollar item so inside the for each i'm going to divide the php and i'll just print the category name say H4 a dollar item of name okay give a semicolon over here let us just check the output refresh okay there's some okay we have not included that file on top of the page so copy and paste and it is inside the functions folder and the file name is myfunctions.php. 
okay so in your my functions do we have a session start yes we have the session start in our my functions dot php and it is required because we are setting the session message over here so from our header dot php we will just remove it because it is going to give an error so i'll just say Control X and in the index.php you can just paste it other separately. So wherever we are not using the myfunctions.php and if you require the session over there, then you can just give the session start on top of that page. Okay, so this thing is done. Let us test the code. Refresh. So here we are getting an error because of this path is not correct. So in your myfunctions.php we have called this in the admin files right so it is correct according to the admin side but for the user side this path is not correct so we'll just create another file over here and call it user functions dot php and in that i will just copy this and start php close php So for this thing, you don't have to give this double dot slash and we have the get all active function paste and the redirect function also you can just copy. We will be using that also in the user side. Okay, so now this looks good. Just change the file name to user functions dot php refresh okay so you have got your categories over here so let us display this in a card view okay so go back to a code so we need to add a row over here row control x paste it over here okay let me just zoom in and over here you're going to say dot column md4 say dot card dot card body and inside the card body just paste this h4 and the image over here say img and the source we have it in our uploads folder right so over here you have directly from this uploads and the file name say uploads slash just copy this much and paste it over here just say image and in the alt you can just say category name or category image add a class to this and say width 100 okay w hyphen 100 so I'll just save and refresh so it's too big I'll just make it to column md3 refresh okay and we'll give some margin bottom over here so for each column md3 just say mb2 yeah and we'll add some shadow for the card say shadow so we'll just add a hr over here your collections let's say uh, horizontal row refresh okay this name will just align it to the center in your h4 just say class is equal to text center refresh okay now it looks good so we'll just hide one of this product and check if it is still visible to the user or not I'll just log into my admin dashboard. All categories. I will just hide this. Edit. Check the status, update. And now we'll just go to the collections. So you can see that thing is not visible over here. Only four categories are visible. So we'll just go back update okay go to your collections 
so here we are getting the register and login though we are logged in so i think that is because the session is not started okay so we'll just switch this to first so in our user functions we have the session start right yeah so now it will work when refresh yeah collections so we'll add a small banner kind of a thing over here it will just display on which page you are currently so just scroll up and over here say dot py3 and bg primary and inside this we will create a container and h6 tag so over here we'll have home slash collections okay so you can make it clickable by adding a tag over here so i will just add a class over here say text white refresh so here it is okay so if you want to increase the size you can just make that to h5 so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to fetch our collections and display it in our user side so in the next video we will see how to make this clickable so once you click on this mobiles category you must be able to see all the products under the mobiles category. So that's it in this video guys. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.